today, we will see some common misconceptions and mistakes related to the following concepts. Misconception 1. Which of the following numbers is the HCF of 14 and 15? Due to misunderstanding, sometimes the method of LCM is used instead of HCF. The result will be 210, which is an incorrect answer. In order to find out HCF, prime factorization of 14 and 15 is done. Since there is no common factor among the factors of these two numbers, 0 is considered as HCF. This is a misunderstanding. The correct understanding is that 14 and 15 are co-prime numbers. That means, among the factors of these two numbers, 1 is the only common factor. Therefore, HCF of 14 and 15 is 1. So, option 3 is the correct answer. Misconception 2. Which of the following numbers is the LCM of 90 and 84? In order to find the LCM of 90 and 84, many times their prime factors are written correctly. But by mistake, wrong factors are chosen. Since 2 and 3 are common factors for both numbers, those factors are excluded and all other factors are chosen for finding the product. By doing this, option 1 is chosen, which is incorrect. Similarly, sometimes ignoring the factors which occur only once, we choose the factors which occur more than once for finding the product. Hence, option 2 is incorrect. The correct way of choosing the factors is like this. Among the factors of 90 and 84, 2 has occurred a maximum of 2 times. That's why we write 2 into 2. Similarly, 3 has occurred a maximum of 2 times. So, we will multiply them with 2 into 2. Also, 5 and 7 have occurred only once. So, we will place them in the product. Hence, the LCM of 90 and 84 is 1260, which is option 3. Now, let's discuss some common mistakes related to HCF and LCM. Common mistake 1. While representing the factors obtained by prime factorization, sometimes addition or comma signs are used. It is very necessary to understand that while representing the prime factors, multiplication sign must be used. Common mistake 2. Sometimes students think that highest common factor and greatest common divisor, also called GCD, are two different concepts. So when asked to find the greatest common divisor, they get confused. It is very important to understand that the highest common factor and the greatest common divisor are both the same. We can say they only differ by name. Today, we saw some common misconceptions and mistakes related to the following concepts.